The race to the White House has entered a new phase with a new face. The United States is less than 100 days away from voting for a new president. And to mark the occasion, both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris came with renewed attacks at weekend campaign events around the country. The dueling appearances capped what was a whirlwind week in United States politics as the rivals exchanged barbs. Vice President Harris referred to Trump as just plain weird, while the former president painted her as evil, sick and unhinged. Harris was quick to take over the Democratic candidacy after Joe Biden's withdrawal from the contest, but she has now cast herself as an underdog in the presidential race against Trump. We have a fight ahead of us. We got a fight ahead of us. And we are the underdogs in this race. Okay? Level set. We're the underdogs in this race. But this is a people power campaign. And we have momentum. The day after I announced my candidacy, we saw the best 24 hours of grassroots fundraising in presidential campaign history. Speaking at a fundraiser in Massachusetts, Harris also stayed with her theme of comparing her background as a prosecutor with Trump's record as a convicted felon. She said her campaign was about the future, while Trump wanted to return the country to a dark past. A few miles away at a rally in Minnesota, Trump asserted that Harris would destroy the country, criticizing her on issues ranging from public safety to immigration. We have a new victim now, Kamala. We have a new victim. We have a brand new victim. And honestly, she's a radical left lunatic. And she is, when you find out about her, all I have to say is defund the police. That was her big thing. Let's defund the police. With the onset of the 100-day countdown, polls indicate that Harris's entry has erased the lead that Trump enjoyed over Biden for months. After Biden's withdrawal, Trump's lead has shrunk significantly. According to a Wall Street Journal poll, the former president has a two percentage point lead over Harris, standing at 49 percent to 47 percent. The two point advantage is minimal when viewed against the six point lead over Biden in a survey earlier this month. In fact, a Reuters Ipsos opinion poll shows Harris taking a marginal lead over Trump. As per the poll, after taking over the nomination, Harris leads Trump 44 percent to 42 percent among registered voters. In the same poll taken before Biden's exit, Harris and Trump tied at 44 percent. In comparison, Biden faced a two-point deficit against Trump in that poll. And according to a new NPR PBS News poll, Harris and Trump are statistically tied after Biden's exit. Now, the results signal slight movement in the Democrats' direction. They will now look to capitalize on the gains in the next 100 days and curb the momentum that Trump's campaign gained after the first debate. And the blue camp is right on track. Harris's election campaign has said that it has raised $200 million since she became the Democratic Party's presidential candidate. To add on, they have signed up 170,000 new volunteers in the week. This also indicates that Harris has made strides for Democrats reinforcing belief in Biden's historic decision. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.